Wow. <clears throat> hey, hey. Hey. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. It is day number 1,700,000 day of quarantine. <laughs> Uh, I had my hair in braids yesterday, so that's why I look like a poodle. Today, I am going to be doing the quarantine planty tag that Reb created over at Plantastica. If you're not already subscribed to Reb Plantastica, head over to her channel, subscribe, and watch this video that she posted while we're all going crazy in quarantine. So I thought it was really cute. She tagged me to do this video. Thanks Reb for tagging me. And I looked at the questions and they're really funny. So I'm excited to answer these actually. I was gonna repot, but Amazon is delaying orders, of course, given the circumstances. So my soil, because I don't wanna go to Home Depot or Lowe's or my local plant, and my local plant shop is closed. I don't wanna go there because I wanna stay home. So I ordered from Amazon and my package is delayed and that's is my soil for my cactus so I'm not going to be repotting my obesas but I'll give you some uh some planty goodness for a second I have plans to repot but anyway that'll be another video we'll just answer some quarantine questions here question number one if you ran out of food and had to start making salads out of your plants which would be your first to eat and for which would you starve? Okay, good question. I think that I would go with my Monstera Deliciosa only because I have so much of it because I chopped it and propagated it. So now I have a lot of Monstera Deliciosa. So I would probably take like half of the collection and make a salad because then I'd still have half of my collection. For which would I starve would probably be any of my Pokey Boys, any of my cactus. I am not eating these. No, who would do that? Question number two, you've used up all of your rubbing alcohol and pest control products and your five favorite plants have become infested. Ooh. Do you and your family eat off of dirty dishes and go sober so you can use the last of your dish soap and vodka for the plants? <laughs> That's funny. One, I don't drink vodka. So, uh, let's see dish soap yeah I could just rinse them I could just rinse our, our plates and forks and stuff it's just us here you know so yeah i would risk it i'd take care of my plants that are dying the plants are going to keep this world going guys not people <laughs> sorry to say they'll be here long after we are number three how many times have you reorganized your plants while in quarantine? Oh my gosh. I've cleaned my plant. Okay, so real time frame here. I think we're on day seven of shelter in place in Chicago, maybe day six. Since we had the shelter in place, I feel like I'm going a little crazy because I work from home. So it's really not that big of a change for me to be here. But the fact that somebody's telling me that I can't leave my house, you're not my real dad. Like I'm trying to find stuff to do. So right away I resort to my plants. So my plants are clean because I've cleaned the leaves like twice since we had shelter in place. I've reorganized my shelf downstairs. I've reorganized my shelf in the living room. The only thing I haven't reorganized is my teak bench with my cactus on it, but I plan to repot. And as soon as I repot, I'm just gonna take all these off and reorganize it again. I'm going nuts. I'm seriously going nuts. Like, let me show you. Like, I had all these plants in the living room and I brought them in my office just to bring them in my office. <laughs> Those weren't there a week ago. It's, you know, difficult times, guys. Difficult times. <clears throat> What's that? I don't know. Number four. How many hours per day are you spending browsing plants online and have you purchased any? Okay, here's the thing. Like, it's springtime in Chicago, really. It's still kind of chilly, but it's plant ordering season and it's plant shopping season and we can't go out plant shopping. I'm in a situation where me and my family are photographers. We own a photography company, if you didn't know, and it's wedding photography. Majority of our income comes from weddings. And we've had to reschedule and postpone quite a few weddings since all this started. 
So we have virtually no income and haven't for the past three weeks. And we probably won't until May. If this stops then, if it keeps going, I can't expect my couples to pay their balances off. And I can't expect new clients to be planning a wedding during these times. So we are at a complete standstill. So I have not shopped for any plants because I need to put food on my table. Um, however, I do have a ton of Etsy shops that I have like favorited and I have my carts, like plants in my carts. And they're probably not gonna be there by the time this is all over because people are doing a lot of plant shopping. But I am favoriting a lot of plants. I'm, I'm window browsing a lot of plants. I just wish I could buy them, but I can't. So we'll just have to wait. We'll have to wait and see what happens and business needs to get back to usual. And then we'll start supporting those plant shops again. I, I hope. You've run out of toilet paper and it was a doozy. Which plant do you reach for to achieve a nice clean wipe? Don't worry. You probably aren't growing any poison ivy. True. I'm not growing poison ivy. So if I was, I wouldn't reach for that. Definitely not one of these. Cause ouch. I would probably reach for my elephant ear <laughs> that's in my living room. So I'd probably, maybe I should put that in the bathroom. I would reach for my elephant ear because the leaves on this thing are huge. They're like this big. So I could probably cut it in half. And then one side is like slightly rigid and the other side is smooth. So you can kind of get like double wipe out of that. And then the leaves are thick. So I wouldn't have to worry about breakage. And I probably would still have some plant left that I can like propagate and grow. So yeah, elephant ear, she, she'd, uh, she'd come in handy. Okay, number six. Are you watching more or less planty YouTube videos? And is there a type of video that you would like to see more of right now? So I have been watching an obscene amount of cooking videos because I have so much time to cook now and um, I've just been experimenting with what we have in our pantry. <laughs> planty videos I have, I've caught up on all of my plant, my favorite planty channels that I'm sub subscribed to. I feel like I'm really on top of supporting my fellow planty tubers out there. But I think that this is a hard time. I think that there's a certain amount of people that want to hear more about what's going on in the world and how people are dealing with it and how people are feeling. And they don't wanna put that on the back burner because that's in the forefront of their mind and they wanna stay in reality. And then there's another part of people that are just like, I don't want to deal with it right now. It could be a mental health thing. It could be a financial struggle at home. Like we're kind of going through. So they kind of wanna just put that on the back burner and they want, it to carry on as business as usual on YouTube. And like they wanna see their planty people just keep creating the same content that they've been putting out since before all this started. So I think it's hard for plant tubers to gauge their audience in that way and kind of get an idea of what people want. If I'm talking about me, I think I would want a little mix of both, which is what I've tried to put on my channel. A little mix of how I'm feeling, what's going on, maybe mixed into the videos just a smidge, but then like obviously plant content because that's what my channel is about. So I think that's what I wanna see for most people. I want people to keep it real and I don't want people to ignore it, but I don't want that to be the full topic of conversation either. What question are we on? Number seven, <clears throat> if you had to fashion a mask out of a plant, which one would you use and why? Okay, this is a good question. I think I would use the same elephant ear because for all the same reasons, it's thicker. So I might be able to like get a nice full good coverage, hole punching a rubber band in it to put around my ears. I'm so not creative though. So that'd probably go real, real wrong, but that's what I would use. Cause it's the biggest plant, like it'll cover the most surface area. Number eight, how many days post quarantine will it be before you go plant shopping? That's a good question. Probably one. Probably when they come on the news and they're like, you know what, We're, we reached we reach the peak, we got over the peak, we can leave, I'm out. I am out. I'm like, Plant Shop Chicago, are you guys open? Farmer's Market? Knock, knock, knock. Nicole's here with no money. <laughs> I just want to get out and I just want to go out and see other plants. It, it's such a catch-22 right now because it's like I have all this time. It's Saturday right now. I never have a Saturday off in the spring and we can't leave the house. Like, we can't go anywhere. Like, I can't even go to the conservatory to look at plants because... 
just social distancing. Yeah, I'd probably leave right away, honestly. Although the world is scary, I'm now seeing tenfold, you really can't believe what you hear on the news. So I don't know if I would trust it. I'd have to wait and see. Let's circle back to that. Check me on social media. You can follow me at my clean leaves on Instagram. Follow my stories and you guys can see if, if it's a uh, Chicago has been lifted of the self-isolation quarantine. Nicole's in a plant shop somewhere. Then you can call me out. All right, guys, that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. This is a different little setup I have here. I normally don't film this way, but it's really gloomy outside and I was having a little issue with light. And I was like, oh, you probably want to see all my cacti. So there you go. I'm gonna end this video with a little bit of uh, footage of all my cactus here so you guys can see them up close and personal. But I really hope you guys liked this video. I'm not gonna tag anybody specific, but if you're watching this, feel free to do this tag. Make sure you go tag Plantastica if you do over on Instagram and here, let her know you did it so she can watch it. And it's a fun tag and everybody's going through it right now. So I'd love to hear what other plant tubers and plant people are doing in this state of quarantine. All right, guys, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Focus on my thumb, not a thumbs down. No, no, no. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click that little bell so you get notifications every time I post a new video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Stay home. Stay safe. Wash your hands.